Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So today in this video, I just wanted to be completely transparent with what has been going on with me recently and why I had just a few days ago or so decided that I no longer wanted to go to America. And I had announced in some videos in the past that I was going to be moving to Los Angeles specifically because I felt a natural desire to go there and then I was going to travel around other different parts of America. But recently, I decided to go from Chiang Mai, Thailand, which is a very busy city that's very polluted, a lot going on, where I normally live in Thailand, and I went to Pai, Thailand for personal different reasons. And Pai, Thailand is very, very calm. There's so much nature. The air quality is absolutely amazing. There's so many more like-minded people for me to connect there. It makes me get outside way more. And yeah, there's just so many other very positive things about it. And I thought that it may have a very positive effect on me, but not due to the degree that it did. So upon me going there, I just started to feel way, way better mentally and physically holistically, not that I was feeling bad at all. I also noticed that my sleep was way, way better, more than it's ever been anywhere that I've lived in the entire world, which is absolutely key for me to feel the best every single day. And I found, yes, I was spending so much more time out in nature because there's so much nature and spending almost all hours a day with my feet grounded on the earth and if you don't know about grounded on earth and I highly recommend you check it out but it calms the whole nervous system it has so many health benefits for you mentally and physically holistically and it just makes me feel so calm and relaxed and I also found that even though I was still doing what I normally do with making YouTube videos on a regular basis and coaching people and training that my stress levels were way way less every single day throughout the day. I just felt so much more calmer and relaxed and I just found that everything was flowing way, way easier and just had this like deeper sense of inner peace and calmness within me. And I'm someone that does feel good on a regular basis, but I find being in a city with all of the EMFs and the Wi-Fi and so much going on here, so many cars, that I'm just being bombarded all the time and I find that I just go into a stress response a lot more frequently and for longer periods of time. And as we know, living in a big busy city is not one of the best places for someone to optimize their health and their maximum lifespan. So for me, Pai Thailand is literally one of the most ideal places that I've ever been to for me to be the best and healthiest version of myself and for me to just have the greatest human experience possible. And then I've met so many amazing people there and I found that I was just having so many synchronicities happen and I've just fallen in love with that place. So due to those reasons and many, many others, I had decided, no, I don't wanna leave Thailand now. Why would I wanna leave when I found somewhere that is the most ideal place for me that's meeting all of my needs in every single way? So I had decided that I was gonna skip my flight to Bangkok, which I was meant to go for two days, and then go to England, which I'm gonna skip that as well. And I'm also gonna skip my flight to America. And yes, I lose the money on it, but it's not the end of the world. You can always earn more money. So that is completely fine. And then once I've made that choice, my brain at certain times was still trying to make me go. But when I was actually listening to my heart and my intuition, it was telling me, no, don't go there whatsoever. Stay here in Pai, Thailand. So I'm now back in Chiang Mai, Thailand because I need to sort out some things here. And then I will be moving to Pai, Thailand around the 24th of December, which I'm really, really excited for. And I will stay there for around a month because the burning season will kick in for around three months, which certain parts of Thailand are not good to live in because the burning season is just absolutely awful. There's smoke everywhere. So I will move to Koh Phangan, Thailand in early February after I've been in Pai for about a month. And yeah, like I said, my mom was trying to get me to go there. And then I still had the interview happening today for my visa to actually be able to go to America. And I said to myself internally, that if I meant to go to America, I will 
be able to get the visa that I have applied for. So I said to myself, okay, let's just go along. I still paid for it. I've done all the documentation and everything else that I've needed to actually go ahead with getting the interview for the visa and trying to get the visa. So I went there, did everything that I needed to, and my brain was actually saying, you're not gonna get accepted and not gonna get accepted and it seemed that it knew what was going to happen. So I went for the interview, it went really, really well. They could see that I had good regular income, good amount of savings. They could see that I was going there for really good reasons, but they refused me. And for a reason that I thought that I may get refused for. And that is because I have no proof that I would go back to my own country when I was born, because they are very concerned about people coming into America and staying there illegally. Even though they can see that I've been in Asia legally for years and years and years, they still want proof that I would go back to my home country, which even if I was going to America, I wouldn't go back to my home country to stay there and live there again because it's not somewhere that I wanna live. So that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. So I saw it as a sign from the universe. It did not want me to go there. And what had happened from being in Pai, Thailand, which I forgot to mention, is I thought to myself, I can never live in a big, busy city anymore. So moving to Los Angeles, that is a crazy, big, busy city. So it's not gonna be the best place for me to thrive. And then I thought, well, I could go to Hawaii. And I was gonna do that, but then I thought, why am I going there? When I can just be here in Pai, Thailand, which is meeting all of my needs. There's no real reasons for me to go to Hawaii. I'm aware it's an amazing place, but I don't know anyone there. I've never been there and it may not be somewhere that I actually like. And obviously, a big benefit of staying in Thailand, which is no issue for me at all, it's gonna save me loads and loads of money. I don't have to travel for a long period of time to America. So it is win-win all around. So as always, the universe gave me exactly what I needed. And it has really made me think, yes, 100% I'm gonna stay in Pai, Thailand, because like I said, my mom was trying to get me to still leave, but even though my heart and my body and my emotions are telling me no. So it's all good, I don't need anyone to feel bad for me, and I don't think there's anyone <laughs> that's gone to probably apply for a visa and got rejected that's really, really happy. As soon as I got back and my sister's staying at my apartment, I went back there and I told her, and she just high-fived me. <laughs> because she thought that it was a really good thing for me to stay here and she knows that it is as well. So yeah, I don't feel upset about it. I feel absolutely fine. And that is something that I just want to remind everyone of. With everything that happens in life, whether it's something that's positive or negative, it's always exactly what you need, whether you see that or not. And that's the type of mentality that I take with everything in life and it gives me complete empowerment and I feel that I'm not just a victim that falls into these things that would be seen as not good and negative whatsoever. So yeah, this is gonna be a new, exciting, different direction that I didn't know what was gonna happen. And I am very excited to see what is gonna go on. So I'm gonna be staying in Chiang Mai, Thailand for a bit longer than what I thought. I don't know exactly when I'm gonna leave, but I'm gonna take a trip to Malaysia around, yeah, the end of December. Go there for a couple of days, eat some durian, have some fun there, get a, another visa for Thailand. And yeah, I'll be able to get a three month visa. Well, it's a two month visa, then you can extend for another 30 days here. And then as long as I'm gonna stay after that time period, I will go and buy either a, a year visa or a five year visa. You can even buy 10 year ones if you want, but I'm not gonna buy that because that costs way more than the five year and one year visa. And it's something that I, I wouldn't be able to afford. And that's absolutely fine. So yeah. That is it for this video. If you have any comments or questions on anything that I've shared with you today in this video, I'll leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I love answering your questions. And if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down and please share this video with anyone else that you think may wanna hear about why I'm not going to America and about my whole experience of me deciding not to go there and about me not getting my visa that was meant to be. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And if you wanna be notified of when my new videos are uploaded in the future, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, 
Stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.